beautiful helmet, beautiful helmet. Uh, yes, and I've got dirty, great big fingerprints all over everything anyway. Right then. Hey, we're back. We are back. Lovely helmet, lovely helmet. Mm, nice. So now I need to put my Senna in, which I have taken off my uh, it says reaching across my um, other helmet, which, as you can see, is bits of crap and everything all over the place because it needs to be taken as well. But there we go. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so I have taken this off my other helmet, and I now need to put it onto this helmet. But before I go any further, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you get some more videos from me. Now, before I go any further, what I have to do is that I have to take, I pretty much have to strip this helmet down in order to get the bits in that I need to. Now, the beautiful thing with the uh, uh, HJC helmet is that the visor is what's called a quick release visor. There's a little clasp here, and you can see that on there. So if I just press that down, like so, the actual visor should just pop off, he says. Make sure it's right there. That's it. Make sure it's right the way up first, and then press that, and there you go. Number one pops off, turn it around, and then if I press this, number two pops off. Right. So that is the visor off, there you can see, a lovely visor. For the time being, we're going to discard the visor on the side, because I don't need that at the moment. Put that over there. Right, so the next thing we need to do is just basically unclip a load of stuff. So what I need to do is, utilising my lovely new pants, and I've put a towel down there to stop it from slipping, all I have to do is, I'm not sure you can see in here because it's quite dark, is unpop the little side cheeks, as you can see from there, as they go little pops in the little holes. I just need to feed that through. I need to decide which side I'm going to put the actual um, device. That be the little word I'm looking for. Device. Okay. So that's one cheek pad out. Well, that's one side out. Don't lose it because I'll need that later. In fact, I just need to put it over. Here with the rest of my stuff, and then doing the same this side, move that out of the way. I'm going to in here, and it's just literally, oh, he says it's quite stiff. One, two, and there should be a third, which is there. Three, feed that back through, and there we have it. And then this just these out from the back, like so. There we go. Ta -da. And uh, if you can see the little Marvel logo. And then all I need to do now is unpop the back, like so. And now I've taken the front off. I can feed this through the front, like so. So there we go. So that's our first stage done. Now, our second stage, or our next stage really, is to actually mount it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the camera on this side. I'm going to mount the center on this side. Now what I did last time was I made the mistake of putting it too close to this. So basically what I need is these two pieces. So it's this piece and this piece. Now what you can do as you'll notice is that um, you have got so the microphone goes in so that clamps onto there which clamps onto the side of the helmet there we go so the microphone goes into here and the earpiece is going to there so i've got this boom mic which is been, which is what i've been using with the old um foam on it that's the word i'm looking for the old wind sock on there um so basically i'm going to put this into here so what i need to do first off is i actually need this just plugs into there like so and then there's a little catch which rotates, rotates round and then clips it in place. So basically, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to make sure it doesn't get in the way of said buckle. So that might be fine there. So this I'm going to put here, that's it. So I'm going to put this here 
unfortunately it's going to sit over the Marvel logo and then I'm going to make sure that doesn't get interfered with there which is not going to which is good um, and then I'm going to make sure that this boom mic goes into a nice position here which it does so now I've done that what I need to do is slide this up he says into here like so there we go and you see the two little holes which are for the actual screws to go into which are allen key or hex bolts so there we go oh look at that perfect fit so I'm now going to move it around to this side and I've actually got a spoon look I've got a spoon with a lot of stuff in it now these are fiddly little buggers and I've got two washers and two bolts so the other thing I've got to think of is whether or not my side piece will go in that piece which goes here so I've also yeah but I've also got to get this back in So, first things first. Um, I'm sure, that's going to fit back in there actually. So that's that plug there. So that's going to go in there. So let's just put that to the side a second. So what I'm going to do, he says, hopefully not losing everything, is that goes back into there like so. Yep. And then that will go inside there. And the question is, will this go back inside here where that is? And once it goes, are we signing? Yes. There we go. So that does fit back in there quite nicely without any problems whatsoever okay so I'm happy with that so I'm going to turn that back out so I'm happy that works so I'm going to get this back again as you can see it sits there nicely it doesn't move I'm going to stick you back on there and I'm going to rest you there and I'm going to get my allen key and this is a 2.5 allen key that you need so you need one bolt, you need about six pairs of hands to do this, you really do. So one bolt, one screw, which should go into there like so. And then one bolt and one washer. Did I say screw before or washer? I can't remember now. Which will then go... And we're in, and we're just going to screw this down to keep it in place. And that's the bulk. Pretty much the bulk of it done, really. And what I need to do now is run the earpieces. So there we have it. And as I say, it's far enough away from my debuckle, which I'm happy about, and the microphone will tuck in there quite nicely out of the way which it will do which is perfect and because I've got such a loud voice it doesn't really make much of a difference now the next thing I have to put in is oh it's just reaching across these and these and I apologize if it's really dark I do apologize if it's dark I've got a very tiny screw here now what you've got, as you'll notice, you've got two lengths. Now I wear glasses, and because I wear glasses, these are supposed to have foam on the outside, and because I wear glasses, I end up putting my glasses through the foam and ripping it off, which is no good, which is pretty pointless really to say the least. So, I have these, 
you've got two K, you've got two lengths rather, you've got short length and the long length. Now, I've been reliably informed that this also is the antennae for the FM radio, as in the long piece. So what you need to do is the short piece goes one side and the long piece goes on the opposite side. So as you can see, there's a very tiny little hole in there and these just plug into here like so. So, he says, locating it in place, plugging it in, and then it is just a case of a very tiny screw, and it is, and I mean a very tiny screw. It is uh, the tiniest screw in the world, which goes into there, and then a screwdriver, to screw it in place, he says. There we go. So now in place, that's that bit done, that's that bit done. So basically, what this is the reason why I've pulled out the centre lining, is so this piece is going to go here, it says here, like so, and then this one is going to go the other side, I can untangle it, he says, just put that this way first. This piece is going to go the opposite side, which is over here, and get secured over here. Now, roughly, my ears are about here. Now, this is a real difficult thing because you never know where, when you stick this in, whether or not it's in the right place until later. So, it's actually on a Velcro piece. That's going to fit in there like so, and then what I want is I want that to run. So I actually need to turn that around that way. I need that to run at the top of the helmet. You can see in there. Look, if you can, I want this to run at the top of the helmet like so, and then that way picks up of the radio and what I've got there is it's going to stick there is a little bit of self adhesive tape says, not self double adhesive uh, no, oh what's it called not self adhesive tape bugger Double sided tape, that's the word I'm looking for, double sided tape. Goodness gracious me, I couldn't say the word then, for love and money. So I'm just going to get a little slither of double sided tape. Mm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this right here, this little recess there, which will do just nicely, in the recess. Hopefully I can pull the red bit off. There we go. A little cable and stick it there. Lovely. And then what I can do is, this is the beauty of having this like this, you know, and I'll bring the inside foam back in. And there we go. Inside foam's back in, and all I have to do now is bolt these two down. And this one and this one down. This one down, he says. Where are you? Where are you? Over there. Go into your hole. Go into your hole. Come on, don't be a pain. There we go. That's those two pieces done. And then I just need to attach this to this side. And then that is done. And then put the cheap hat in. And that's pretty much all you have to do to get these back in and then that's it that's it that's as hard as it gets really that's really is as hard as it gets with installing uh, the Senna S20S yeah, and there we have it that's it yes it is a bit fiddly yes it does take some time and uh, the microphone can just tuck in there quite nicely out of the way and hopefully 
shouldn't pick up too much interference. Um, what I could do actually is, and then, well, actually that's it really. So then all I've got to do now is just pop this on. This should just slide on, which it does. Job done, power it up. And I can hear the speakers. Phone connected. And all I've got to do now is just test it. So, thank you very much for watching. Sorry it's been a long video. And uh, don't forget to catch me um, on the next video where I shall be putting my pin lock system in and putting my visor back on. So, there we go. Thank you very much. Cheerio. Arrivederci. And goodbye for now.